what's going on everyone welcome to the very first video of my build series now if you're new to building guns don't you worry we're going to take it step by step i'm going to explain how things work why they work that way so hopefully it gives you a better idea on how to install this stuff for me personally i like to i like to understand how things work before i know actually how to put them in today we're going to be installing the gas tube now before we actually get to the installation there's going to be a few tools that you're going to need so let's go over what you'll need for this installation So first you're gonna need some kind of punch set. So I've got these guys right here from Real Avid. I was issued this in the military. Well, not this specific one, but in the military we were issued these. Um, I just, I'm just familiar with the brand, they work. It's got everything I need in it as far as punches go. So that's what I'm using here, this guy. Next, you need some type of way to hold this into a vise. The reason why I have a vise is basically it's my extra set of hands. It's holding the weapon up as I need to, you know, hammer things, punch things out, whatever I need to do. So I have this block right here. This holds the upper receiver, put this in the vice grip, and boom, it's being held in midair for me without any assistance. Next, of course, we need our gas tube. So I have a carbon length barrel, so I have a carbon length gas tube. Now, if you have a rifle length, it's all gonna be the exact same way as far as installation goes, but that's what I'm using today. Then, of course, you need the upper receiver itself. Now, I already have the barrel in place. The reason why I have the barrel in place is because I need a super heavy duty vice in order to get this barrel on the correct way and i don't have that heavy duty of a vice here at home so i did that at work it is going to be a little tricky though we're going to see if i actually did it correctly here today on this video because you have to line up the barrel nut grooves with the hole that, that the gas tube goes into it needs to be perfectly straight or else your gas tube will be bent nothing will work the gas uh, the bcg the bolt the bolt carrier group won't actually go in correctly all the way all that kind of stuff it's just, this thing needs to be done absolutely perfect. Now, whenever I did do this at work, I did grab a gas tube, I slid it in there <laughs> just to make sure that it's correct. At work, it's been, it's been correct, but it's been like this for a little while now, so who knows if anything shifted. If I did it correctly, it didn't shift, but that's why my barrel is on my upper receiver already. Now, if you wanna watch me put this barrel on, I actually have a video on that. Just go check that one out. I've got it linked down in the description box below, but my barrel is already on. But if you do want an instructional video on how to do that, let me know in the comments down below. And then the last thing you'll need is the actual pin that goes inside the gas tube that holds it in place. So let's get started. I'm gonna move you down over here to the table. That way you can see everything that I am doing. Okay, so step one is you're gonna take your upper receiver that looks just like this, and we're gonna place it inside this block here. So it'll go just like, just like that. And then you just close it up, kind of wiggle it into place until it completely closes, just like that. Now, this is where you need your vice grip. Luckily, as someone said in one of my videos before, I have a mobile vice grip. Little did the individual know that my mobile vice grip is literally just my second pair of hands. Okay, so my vice grip is too small, so it doesn't actually fit that block in place, but I'm having it sit up right now. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take our gas tube. Now remember, there's a right way and a wrong way. Where all the holes are at, you want it facing the end of the barrel. You have one hole at the very bottom, that is going to be the gas port. So very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this in. Assuming that you did the barrel installation absolutely perfect. And if you have to force it, it's, that is absolutely wrong. You should not be forcing it. It should slide in nice and easy, just like that. It should be able to move freely in and out of that upper receiver, just like that. Now, as I said before, there is one hole at the very bottom. That one faces down. And then you wanna make sure that the two holes on the gas tube also line up with the two holes in the gas port right up here on your A-frame. So once that's done, all you're going to do is you're going to slide this into the hole. Now this plate, right here actually does move and pivot. So if it's in your way, you can move it out of the way just like that. So what I was worried about is that my barrel would have been crooked or became crooked or something like that, but this is absolutely perfect. It should be sliding in and out that easy. Now, one thing that's not helping me right now is this little plate. This thing is a little crooked. Let me see if I can kind of boop this guy around a little bit. So as I said, this is 
This does move around, so now I move that out of the way, and it slides in just like that, nice and easy. Now the next thing to do is you're gonna line up your holes. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna look down here, make sure your holes are lined up, and boom, that is literally perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this upside down in my vice grip. And again, my vice grip is just being used as a set of hands, so let me set that up. Okay, so if your vice grip lets you turn this right side up, please do that. Mine is not big enough, but this does still help with a set of hands. So now you're gonna take your roll pin and you're gonna take a starter punch. So there is my starter punch, or my roll pin inside the starter punch. And you're gonna take your little mallet and you're gonna start this guy right up inside there. And I hold this together just in case if I drop the pin, I've dropped a million pins in my life and they're very hard to find. So I hold from underneath so that way if I drop it for whatever reason, it'll fall straight into my hand. So here it is just like that. So I'm holding my starter pin and I'm gonna hit it with this mallet right here. Boom, just like that. And now, as the name suggests, this is a starter pin. You do not punch this in all the way. Once it's in and it gets started, then what I do is I take a big old fat boy. And the reason why I take a big fat boy is because this will allow me to punch all the way in and make it flush. So I'm gonna start just like this. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. And of course, my uh, little helping hands here want to keep moving. But now it makes it nice and flush. And all you do is you're just gonna drag your fingers over that hole, make sure that there aren't any pieces of metal sticking out, no burrs or anything like that. And just like that, your gas tube is now installed on your AR-15. Okay, now we have the gas tube installed into our upper receiver and it should just look like this. Now, one little piece of advice, um, you can actually check your work. What you wanna do is you actually wanna look inside your upper receiver. You wanna make sure that that gas tube going inside is actually straight up and down. You can put this in and it can be crooked. If it is crooked, that is not correct. It needs to be completely, perfectly straight up and down. So for example, I don't know if the lighting will let me see it to show you or not, but that bad mamma jamma right there is literally as good as you can get it. So my, my job was, was well done. Now we're gonna be installing our compensator, muzzle brake, bird cage, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna be talking about this next. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that way whenever that video goes live, you'll be notified of that. Again, if you wanna see how the barrel goes onto the upper receiver, I got a video on that. Click on that down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.